In this video today, we're going to take a look at how we can create a dashing mechanic similar to games like Hollow Knight. Now, it's quite fairly simple to do, so without further ado, let's get started. So for creating the dash, what we need to do is we need to go back to our player player script. And if you have the same than mine, that's going to be easy to follow. So you're going to go to the player state or enumerator player state. And here we're going to first start by adding our dash state. Then once we have done that, what we want to do is we want to create a new function. That function, I'm going to put it around my swell function. So here under my swell function, I'm going to create a new function that I'm going to call dashing. And for now, it's just going to pass, pass like this. Uh, now we have done that, we can go back to the enumerator right here, the current state uh, in our physics process delta. We have a match current state that is in charge of like checking in which state our player is uh, there. So here, because we have added our player state dash or uh, our dash to our player state, we're going to be able to access that. So here I'm going to say player, player underscore state dot dash and here I'm gonna uh, assign it to my dashing function that I've just created right here which is there voila and so now that we have done that well, before to code we have one last thing to do which is we need to set an input for our dash so for that we need to go to project project setting input map and here I'm gonna use the same uh, convention of naming that go to use so user input underscore and here I'm gonna put dash I'm going to click on add and here I'm going to press on the plus and I'm going to set, I think I'm going to set my, um, I'm going to set F for me to, uh, to be dashing. So, and I'm going to also click on the plus and here I'm going to assign a function on my uh, game controller. My game controller is uh, uh, plugged to my uh, PC. And so here I'm just going to uh, click on LB. And so like this, I will be able to dash when I will click on, L, uh, on LB. So voila. So now I have that here. So now what we need to do is we need to uh, trigger that dash uh, when we are uh, pressing on one of those keys. So for that, we're going to do that in the movement function. And so here I'm going to go, I think, before gravity force, just after uh, we, are, we are checking if we are pressing swell. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the same thing here. I'm going to copy that, C control C. I'm going to call it here, control V. I'm just going to make the spacing right. Uh, and here, instead of UI swell, I'm going to put UI dash. And here, instead of player state dot swell, I'm going to put player state dot dash. Voila. So now we're going to be able to trigger our dash. So now we need to go to the dash. And here, what we need to do, where is it? <laughs> it's right here. Uh, now what we need to do is basically what uh, to, to code our uh, dashing mechanic. And the dashing mechanic is not a complex one. Like we are just uh, globally, what we want to do is we want to uh, add force for for a certain amount of time. That's basically just what we want to do. And we need to add that force in the direction that we are moving to. So for that, we need to know in which direction we are going. So we have already seen that before. So we need to do if velocity dot dot nah dot voila <laughs> x is greater than zero then here for now i'm gonna pass and if the velocity is uh, smaller than zero then we want to do something else so here i'm just gonna do that 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 voila so here what i want to do is like now that i have uh, that uh, those two elements here for example when my velocity is greater than zero i want to change my velocity dot x to be uh, plus equal to for now we're going to do 600 and when we are going in negative i want to uh, do minus equal 600 and we also want to be able to dash when we are not pressing any key. So for that, what we need to do here is that we also need to have a check for that. And so, but for now, we, but we're going to do that a little bit later on. For now, I'm just going to do move and slide because we need that. Move and slide. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to move. So let's have a look. Uh, so now I have a possible way to do that. The problem that we're going to have here is that if I run the game like this, let's have a look. I'm, press on, I'm pressing on F. It doesn't do anything and I can't control my player anymore. This is normal because we don't have any way to make sure that we can go back to our uh, previous state. 
So here, what I want to do is like in uh, my dashing function, I want to create an await. So for that, I'm going to create that coroutine, await, it's going to call get tree, and then I'm going to create a timer this way. The timer, I'm going to set it to something very small, like 0 0.1, and then I'm going to uh, call a timeout, and then I'm going to shift back my uh, current state, current state, to be equal to player state dot move. Like this, I'm making sure that after a certain amount of time, I can reset my player state and I'm not blocked. So let's have a look. Normally now, it's going to be a bit better. Voila, so now I can move. But now here, if I don't move and I dash, you can see that uh, I can't move anymore. And that's normal because I haven't, pre I haven't um, set up uh, that option here. Here I have that set up only if my velocity is greater than zero or smaller than zero, which implies that I am pressing a key. So here, what I need to do is for now, else what I can do is like, the way I can get my direction when I'm not pressing any key is by uh, checking on my movement function if my sprite 2D scale is at 1 or at minus 1. Because if my sprite 2D here is, uh, I'm gonna unchain that here. Right now you can see that my sprite 2D is at 1 and so it goes to the right. But if I put it at minus 1, it goes to the left. And so here I can use that to check uh, what is my direction when I'm not pressing any key. So for that here I can come back to my dashing function dashing function and here I can say uh, if dollar sign sprite 2d dot scale dot x is equal to one then I can do something and uh, I don't know if I put l if or, uh, or if I'm gonna put if if sprite sprite ah, I can't type today <laughs> sprite 2d dot scale dot x is equal double equal to minus one then we want to do something else so here what we want to do is basically we want to do the same thing like uh, if we are uh, not pressing any key but we are pressing on our dashing function we want to dash so basically we can do like we can do that here so when our uh, dash is uh, at, my, at um, equal to, uh, equal one then we can just move that here and if our dash, uh, if our sprite 2D is uh, on minus one, then we want to be able to do that. So let's have a look, copy it here, and of course I need to re-indent it, voila, like this. And with all that done, although it's a bit of code, uh, what we can do is that we can now uh, normally have something that works. So I'm gonna take my, uh, my controller, I'm moving, and I'm gonna press on my, uh, my uh, stuff. You see, it works a bit, here it works, but if I press, for example, here I'm going to the right and I'm pressing, it doesn't work. So why is that? This is not working because here I put if and I should put LF. So now if I test the game, normally it should work. So I'm gonna go here and you can see that now I can dash. And now here I don't have any animation that are set up, but you could have an animation that is set up here and that will work fine. And so now for example, but we can dash. And what you can do is instead of uh, adding 600, here you can add uh, you can uh, all that into um, a variable so for example here i can create a new segment here i can say um, about dashing and here for example i can add a variable i can it can be even an export actually export var i can call it dash underscore force and i can set it up to be equal to 600 and instead of having to type 600 in my uh, dashing function here i can put dash force here i can put dash force same thing here dash r force i thought i have made a typo but i was all right <laughs> and then here dash underscore force voila and so now if i launch the game normally that should be fine okay so i can dash i can dash when i'm moving i can dash when i'm not moving and so everything is good so and also the, the the thing that is good with that is that i can't pass into like a uh, wall like for example if i come here and i'm dashing uh, i am not going inside the wall for example so that's a good thing and so with that done but you're good with the dash and so now we can move on to the next video
So that's it for me. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If it's the case, don't hesitate to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Me, I want to thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.